Under the sun, the best the sun will pop the clock to feed themselves and family. By any means, your enemies, my enemies, we wet them up like a kitchen. The yellow tape surrounds the face, don't have a face, so now you like open the gates. Great, eliminate like a lemonade. Hey, young boy, have a bit of drink. Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Sus, come back to you again. With another tutorial today we got the eraser and the chase down artist badge you see right there i had the badge both on amethyst i have all my amethyst badges except for charge card i have it on gold i'll put a tutorial out soon um look at my turnovers right here uh if you're not dedicated to get this badge man then you might as well not go for it because it is a grind to get this badge man it's a real grind to get this <laughs> these two badges is a grind to get those badges Three of them, my bad. Defensive stopper. You can see I found out damn near every game. I found out every game I was trying to get the badge. Because uh, I couldn't get to finish the game. Getting those blocks is really hard. I average about 8.2 blocks per game. You can see right there. And you can see I, I stopped at 245. 245 blocks is when I got my Amethyst badge. 245 blocks. To get the regular bronze badge is 80 blocks. You times 80 by 3. You get 240. You get 240. But um, for some reason, when I had got 240, it did not pop up in the game. That's why I, I don't have the I don't have the actual proof of when I got the Hall of Fame Racer badge. It was just there when I went back to my when I went back to my um, my player menu. And you can see right here. This is the first method I was using. Pay, pay attention to where my player is standing outside the paint. I'm leaving it open. I'm baiting my man. I'm leaving the whole paint open. This is a perfect example right here. Roy Hibber is outside the paint. I leave the paint wide open and I come in, I swoop in, and I block the shot every time. It usually works every time, but um, you can get fouled. That you is is very foul prone. This method is very foul prone. You see, I get I give him a little space at the rim, bait him, and it's very foul foul prone. This method. So I'm gonna show you this method right here that I was using to get the amethyst. You want to go to your camera and turn your auto flip off. You want to turn it off so it doesn't keep turning. And then depending on if you're home or away or if you're at halftime, you want to turn your reverse angle on or off. But this is the camera angle you want to. This is the camera angle you want. You want to be on this defensive camera angle um, all game. This is me personally. Some people I watched the tutorial. Some people use different camera angles. This is me. This is what I think is the best. You want to have this on offense too. You want to have this camera view on offense. You want to throw the alley oop. You want to throw the alley oop. Um, and when they catch it, it's gonna be a turnover. When they when they catch it, it's gonna be a, they're gonna go on a fast break. You chase that man down, and then you just block a shot. This is a perfect example right here. You want to get that animation. You want to throw the basket. You want to throw the basketball towards the other hoop so they have. Um, an advantage over you they or what they think they have an advantage over you and then you want to chase him down and get the block you see I turned around I'm through the alley-oop and I'm running him down I slow down at first I don't press turbo immediately I, you you want to walk a couple seconds or you want to walk to at least half court or until he catches the ball and then you can run on the side until you see him about to dunk you see me running on the side right there we stop the fast break but I still managed to get the block on this possession. So you want to run on the side of him when you want to trail him. And then as soon as you see him, your man about to go up and, and get the dunk, you want to um, you want to block the shot. And like I said, at halftime, you want to um, at halftime, they switch baskets. So when you have to go back to your camera, you have to go back to your camera and you have to turn the uh, you have to flip the camera view. Um, yes, yeah, so you have to turn the reverse angle on or off depending on a uh, half to, if it's the first half or the second half. Yeah, man. So uh, that is pretty simple. All you gotta do is come down the court. Um, you come down the court, and then you just throw the you throw the you throw the alley oop to the other side. You want to give him a, an advantage, or you think he has an advantage, and you just want to run down and block the shot. For the chase down artist, you'll get that first. It's about 25 for bronze, and then for amethyst. Once you have it on gold for amethyst, you're gonna get it at 50 blocks. So yeah, that's um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I managed, I got the foul, but I still managed to got the get the the badge, and um you'll get this right here. You'll 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 get Lob City passes doing this because your teammates will catch a lot of passes, and um they'll make the they'll make the shot sometimes. They'll make the shot a lot of most of the time they catch the pass they'll make the shot. So I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. You want to get the ball. You want to run up a little, run back so you get some momentum on that throw, on that lob pass. You want to come you want to come in and then move go back and throw the pass. So you get some momentum on the pass and then it will go the other way. But don't be don't be discouraged if you keep throwing the pass um to your teammates towards your towards your hoop. Don't be discouraged. It happens all the time. This it's just that's just how it is, man. That's gonna be it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe. So that's out.